Here we go. First on CBS Mornings, Bon Appetit magazine reveals its best new restaurants of 2023. Twice the, the fun this year. It's a big time prestigious list. It's in the October issue and there are 24 restaurants on it. That's more than double the traditional 10. And two of those restaurants, one in Chicago, one in L.A., serve Indian food in very different but equally delicious ways. Hi, I'm Chef Shujan. I'm chef and co-owner at Indian River North Chicago. So Indian, it's progressive or modern Indian food. Each and every dish connects you to India in terms of the story, in terms of how we do things, in terms of the flavor and the ingredients. Chili is part of our cuisine, but everything is not spicy. So the flavors are so unique. We talk about in a combination of sweet, then spice, then salt. It's always gonna be there, and of course, some sour taste. It's not only about the food, our service standard, our wine, our cocktails are up there. So it's, it's kind of a whole package we are talking about. This is the time to showcase what Indian food can be evolved to. My name is Avish Naran, and Pija Palace is my restaurant. We might not fit the, the prototypical sports bar model. The floors aren't sticky. We just wanted to have a little bit more of a refined experience. I just wanted to keep it kind of clean and fun. I was born in America, but my roots are Indian. A lot of the food that I ate growing up was really just an Indian version of, of an American dish. Pardon me, guys. Those onion rings. That's the kind of stuff that we serve at Pizza Palace. Some of our hits are the Malai rigatoni. We cook the pasta to al dente, but the sauce itself, it, it should taste like uh, your local curry shop, your local Indian restaurant. We incorporate a lot of those spices into the dishes. Chutney pizza. Hot, hot, hot. We don't have a warning label signifying uh, what's hot at the restaurant. We just, uh, you know, we're brown. A lot of us are brown back here, so it's gonna be a little bit spicy. We hope you guys can handle it. When diners leave Pizza Palace, I just want them to have like a good experience here be open to a different medium or way of seeing Indian food. We just want them to be open to it. Eleazar Sontag's here. He's Bon Appetit's restaurant editor. Uh, this is a great issue. People yes. should pick it up. It's got recipes. It's got uh, recommendations, the best new list. Pizza Palace, we just saw it. You loved it. It reminded you of your childhood. Tell us about it. Pizza Palace is really a spectacular restaurant. And it's not the kind of place where, frankly, I usually expect to find phenomenal food, and that's because it's in a strip mall and it's a sports bar, oh, right? Wow. Whoa, those aren't, interesting. Those aren't the digs where I it's usually true. go when I'm searching for one of the best new restaurants in the country. But the team here has really reimagined what sports bar grub can be through the lens of Indian cooking. And so there's green chutney on the pizza and these really flavorful curry bases, and it's just the most fun. I like unexpected restaurant. things. And then there's a restaurant, a Haitian restaurant in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, that doesn't seem to go together either. What's the name of the restaurant? Why do you like that it's one? It's called Khan, and viewers might be familiar with Gregory Gourdet. He's, you know, a beloved chef. Yes. He was on Top Chef Seen twice. Yes, yes, yes. He's a wonderful cook. And he's built this Haitian restaurant around this roaring live fire. And so you have jerk cauliflower and a ribeye rubbed Ooh. in Haitian coffee. And below the restaurant is Susol, his cocktail bar. And Gregory actually doesn't drink. So along with the Haitian rum cocktails, he has a fully alcohol-free cocktail. He came up with cocktail cocktails. Yeah. And also, the list is bigger this year, and you gave people a heads up. How come? So we told yeah. all the restaurants on the list in advance this year that they were going to be on it, and we yeah. didn't used to do that. And that's pretty standard industry practice to just say, congratulations, here you are. Of course. The reason we didn't do that this year is because running a restaurant is already challenging enough, mm -hmm. and we want this to really be net positive, right? Yeah. We want restaurants to be able to not just celebrate it, but actually grow from it and grow their businesses. And yeah. when business changes overnight, the way it does after you're on BA's list, yeah. you need time to adjust. Yeah, you know, so, they, so they can be prepared. I mean, and what's great is you also feature recipes from these restaurants if you can't make it to these restaurants. And we have one of those recipes right now made from uh, one of CBS's own yeah. Chris Dover. Chris Dover knows how to get it personal done. personal chef, Chris Dover. Wow. He's a, he's a, he's a family what is favorite this? around what here. Is mm. so what is this? So this is a cookie dough pie. Uh, it's got a layer of chocolate ganache, semi-fredo, mm. and cookie dough, and then whipped cream. I mean, it, mm. this, is, this is a very good breakfast. Okay, Chris. Dover, you nailed it. You okay, nailed it. Chris. 
This magazine right here, Bon Appetit, deserves to be on your kitchen counter because yes. it'll tell you where to go out if you want to eat out. Or if you want to cook at home or Oops. make dessert, you can do that as well. Elzar, uh, Elzar Santek, sorry. It's delicious. <laughs> There's Elzar's a lot going on right now. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate Don't it. Don't choke. Again, this is the October issue. Uh, it hits newsstands next week. Look for it. Pick it up.